today's recipe will focus on working with iframes in Selenium. So here we have an iframe within our website and we can see that this iframe actually hosts the table here. So what we want to do is to interact with this table, maybe sort it by name. Let's see how we can do this with Selenium. So we use our web driver object and we say switch to. From there, we can switch to a frame. And notice that there are three overloaded methods for frames. One takes the name or ID attribute of the frame. The second method takes an index. And this is the position that that frame exists in the website. So the indexes do start at zero. So if you wanted to access the first frame, you would enter zero. If you wanted to access the second frame, you would enter one and so on. And if you already have a handle to the frame via a web element, then you can pass that in and switch to the frame there. So let's go ahead and say we want the one that takes the string, which is the name or the ID, and we'll go back to our website to get this information. So we see that our iframe does have an ID, so we'll get this and put it in our code. And now we have switched context from the main website's DOM to this iframe. And what this means is now we can navigate or do any interaction, but only inside of that frame. Let's go and look at it again. So this is the frame that we're within, and this is the context that we are boxed into right now. Okay, so we want to click on this column. So let's go ahead and find that ID. And yep, this is the button ID, so let's go ahead and grab that. So now inside of our code, we can say, element by ID, and we can specify the ID that we have here. And we can say, go ahead and click that. Now let's say that we want to get outside of this frame, right? We want to do some more things on the main website. Remember, we're with already within the context of the frame. We can't access anything that's outside of this frame until we do a driver dot switch to and go back to the parent frame. So this will remove us from the context of that frame and put us back in the main DOM. Once we're in the parent frame, we can continue with anything else on the page. So if we wanted to switch to yet another frame, we could do that. Or if we just wanted to operate within the main DOM, we could do that as well. Okay, that covers iframes. Hopefully this has been helpful. See you next time.